of the DNC officially in the books. The headliner speech tonight, a pep talk from Governor Tim Waltz as he accepted his party's nomination for vice president. I want to go to Caitlin Collins, who spent a lot of time with the Minnesota delegation tonight. What was the response to the governor's speech? Yes, I think I'm an honorary delegate at this point because <laughs> we've been hanging out with the Minnesota delegation this entire convention. Uh, Anderson, it has just emptied out behind me truly moments ago. This delegation here in Minnesota stayed long behind after every other state's delegation ha had left the building. They were here chanting uh, essentially every chant they could come up with about Tim Walls and Vice President Harris. You saw them here. We were standing right outside what you're looking at now as they were just chanting and, and so excited clearly after their governor had just left the stage. It was palpable excitement there, Anderson. And obviously, you know, we've all been watching this convention very closely. I can tell you that also the former president has been also watching very closely. He just posted an incredibly lengthy Truth Social post a few moments ago, ranting about the speech you heard on stage tonight from the Pennsylvania governor, Josh Shapiro. He was saying that, that even though Trump is claiming he is the best friend of Israel, and saying that Vice President Harris hates Israel, even though just last night, about 24 hours ago on that stage, we were listening to her Jewish husband, Doug Imhoff, talk about how she makes brisket for them on Shabbat. But what it really does tell you, Anderson, regardless of, of what Trump said in that post, is that he is watching this convention just as closely as everyone else. And one thing that I'm told that has irked him and his campaign are the constant references that you've seen almost every day of this convention to Project 2025. You saw uh, one of a state senator from Michigan brought out an entire book that she had supersized about the pro proposals from the Heritage Foundation. We saw it referenced tonight by Kenan Thompson, the SNL star, as he was making fun of what a second Trump term would look like. Trump has repeatedly tried to distance himself from Project 2025, even though dozens of his, his former staffers uh, helped and played a big role in crafting it. But they have been watching very closely. They're irritated by that and also just watching to see the enthusiasm, the excitement uh, that has been generated by this convention about a month after his own convention.